according to the U.S. Environmental Protection Agency, there are just over 3 million abandoned oil and gas wells. And what you see right here just outside of Shelby is one of many, which is why one organization is giving some people the chance to get some hands-on experience and some knowledge when it comes to these abandoned wells. Imagine. When driving down the highway in many parts of northern Montana, you might set the strong smell of oil and gas, which is why as part of a two-day tour, a group called the Well Done Foundation kicked off its field experience where people got to participate in measuring, monitoring, and plugging of an orphaned well. When viewing one of the sites, those participating got a deeper insight of these wells, and the experience attracted more than just Montanans. Tried to find what nonprofits are working on capping oil and gas wells or working on methane reductions and really the Well Done Foundation is kind of the only one that is doing this type of work that I've been able to find. One participant made their way across from Japan well and he explained the significance that this holds for him. I'm a former city officer and now as I'm interested in orphan oil well and uh, so because uh, now in Japan is my city as a uh, also, we had the same problem, all found well. So that's why I, know I needed to study here. I'm uh, now a PhD student after retirement. Now, the Well Done Foundation believes that this is the first time they have offered a hands-on experience such as this to the public. And they will be plugging a legacy oil well that has been drilled since 1930, but abandoned for the past 30 years. The process of plugging a well from researching to doing is said to take about nine months to one year, while the actual plugging itself takes only a few days. In Tool County, Cade Mentor, MTN News.